Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video. This is Muhammad Bakri from Community Pebble. Today we are going to study filler words in Egyptian Arabic. Filler words are word, words that don't add a new meaning to the sentence. So uh, the first one is ba'a. Ba'a. Uh, the verb in itself, ba'a, it means he became. Is the verb to become, so he became. Masalan, huwa ba'a ghani. Huwa ba'a ghani. He became rich, so he wasn't. Now he is rich. Huwa ba'a ghani. Another example is humma ba'u ahsan. Humma ba'u ahsan. They became better. Okay. So huwa ba'a humma ba'u ana ba'id. هي بقيت إحنا بقينا أنتو بقيتو أنت بقيت أنت بقيتي. So this is this is the conjugation of the verb بقى in the past. However, today we are not going to talk about this verb, but we are going to talk about using the verb conjugated with he هو in the past بقى as a filler word. So sometimes there is an expression, for example, a بقى. Like what then? So, a what ba what what then? Uh, another expression is هو عايز a ba أو هي عايزة a ba أو هما عايزين a ba. So what do they want then? Okay. Uh, another example. So we don't translate ba here because it's just a filler word. If you want to translate it as then, it's okay. But it's not uh, normally translated. Another example is هما بقى راحوا للمكتبة. So هما راحوا للمكتبة. They went to uh, the library. We added بقى, so it's just um, a, a natural word, just a filler word. So we don't translate it. هما بقى راحوا للمكتبة. And it's always بقى. We don't use any other form of conjugation uh, of this word. Uh, as a filler word. Okay. Uh, the next one is يعني. يعني. Uh, يعني literally it means it means or he means both. So it's يعني uh, is from the word you know the word معنى meaning uh, for example a معنى الكلمة دي what's the meaning of this word a معنى الكلمة دي so يعني means uh, it means uh, an expression, for example, is يعني إيه. So, what's the meaning of this? Uh, so, يعني إيه. uh, But there is an, a, a usage of this word as a filler word. So, um, instead of the word so in English, uh, people normally use يعني. Okay. يعني means يعني all the time. For example, هو يعني كان عايز يسافر إسكندرية. So, هو يعني not translated كان عايز يسافر he wanted to travel إسكندرية to Alexandria so it's one of the most used uh, filler words يعني in uh, Egyptian uh, Arabic and sometimes it has another meaning uh, it means يعني it's not so good not good not bad so if you ask uh, someone how did you do in the exam uh, so the question is عملت إيه في الامتحان they can answer يعني not good not bad but يعني uh, the next one is عبارة عن عبارة عن and this means uh, this is used when you define something when you introduce uh, or present something so for example um, if you want to say uh, السباحة Okay, the swimming is just a sport, so uh, or is basically a sport. السباحة هي عبارة عن رياضة. السباحة swimming هي عبارة عن is basically uh, رياضة. Another example is التفاح عبارة عن فاكهة أو التفاح هو عبارة عن فاكهة تفاح أبلز هو عبارة عن فا 
فاكهة تمام is basically a fruit uh, the next uh, one is in the family is, it's a little funny because it's um, uh, when uh, Egyptians talk some people use the word like in the family do you understand or oh, in the Fahma, so but it doesn't add any meaning, so they just want to make sure that you understand what they say. Uh, for example, Homma uh, Safru Faransa, Homma Safru Faransa, they uh, traveled to France. In Tafahim, we Zaru Burg Ifem. So it's funny because in Tafahim, of course, it doesn't add. Uh, any meaning, or if I'm talking to our Inti Fahma, I would say Inti Fahma. We Zaru Burg Even, so they uh, visited Eiffel Tower. Uh, so this one doesn't add any uh, meaning, but you will uh, hear it a lot uh, in normal day, uh, everyday conversations. Uh, the last one. Is uh, sim uh, similar to in Tafahim, it's Wahid Balak. If you remember from our previous video talking about uh, the most used expressions in Egyptian Arabic, Yahud Balu, or Wahid Balak, Wahid Balak, Yahud Balu is to, uh, to watch out or to take care, to take care of someone. Uh, so Wahid Balak, Wahid here is. The active participle and balak, uh, like your mind, so the translation here can be your mind. So, wahid balak, uh, it means here, it's a fellow word, of course, but it means, okay, are you with me? So, uh, do you understand what I say? So, it's wahid balak. If you're talking to a woman, it's wahda here because it's active participle, so wahda with ta marbuta, and then wahda balik, instead of balak, it will be balik. So uh, the example that we uh, used for in Tafahim, we will use it again. So, Homma Safru Faransa Wahid Balak al Wahda Bali We Zaru Burg Eiffel. So basically, these fellow words don't add any new meaning uh, to uh, the sentence, but it's very important to learn them uh, to know that when you hear them, you know that they don't add any meaning, they don't uh, make uh, the meaning uh, different. So uh, I hope this uh, has been useful to you. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.